Welcome to System Dynamics Online Tutorials. In this session we're going to cover the tag entry within the physical inventory process. Under the distribution within inventory and in the processing we have the physical inventory sequence of events or process if you will. Um, tag entry is the third step in a physical inventory process and it allows me to actually key in the quantities counted by the stock taker that is doing the physical inventory. Uh, the tags are generated from the system when the checklist by product group are done um, and they're in sequence uh, beginning with uh, the, the tag number control that is set up uh, in the global file maintenance. If we call up uh, the, the tags here that are already generated for a warehouse that we're doing a physical inventory on, uh, I can simply put it into query mode here and choose uh, the SUP warehouse. I can see that there are tags in here um, in sequence of tag number here, tag number one. Uh, actually this is coming in product order and these are all the tags that have been generated for a physical inventory count. Uh, I simply key in uh, off the checklist if we start at the beginning here again, I would simply come down and in the quantity here I'm taking this off of the checklist that the stock taker actually took and I would key in the quantity of of that count for this particular WO750. So there's uh, uh, 250. The system will automatically put a transaction date and transaction time of, of today. If this was different, uh, i.e. the stock take was, was taken over a weekend, you could backdate uh, this transaction date to be uh, yesterday. Um, since we're doing this on the 25th, I could actually enter the 24th of January, etc. Or if this was when the, the tag was going, the uh, system will default to the current date and current time. Uh, simply commit this transaction and move on to the to the next tag and enter the quantity etc for that given um, stock. All of this is uh, information that the system pulls, the product, the description, the product group, uh, the lot if it's, a, if it's a lot code is already generated on the tag. Uh, the only enterable fields here are the quantity and the transaction date and transaction time. If it's uh, in a situation where you use uh, tags other than the system generated tag. Uh, for example, um, this is tag number 10, but that's not what we want to use. The system generated this, and we want to have our own uh, sequence of, of tags that we use in the system. There's no uh, issue with that. We can simply um, enter the tags required uh, for the supply warehouse and actually put in or key in the product that we're, that we're counting in, in whole uh, we'll just do say for we will do caps here the system will pull up that and we can enter our own tag number that we have allocated uh, possibly pre-printed tags out on the floor so we could have 27 8 51 might be a tag number that's that's always allocated with that uh, particular application and the bin location if it's a bin controlled item and simply put in the quantity of 250 and the same uh, process occurs for the transaction date and transaction time and simply commit this to the to the database and what we'll end up having technically here is for the supply for that given product we'll have the system generated tag 10 and we'll have our generated tag uh, or our internal tag pre-printed 27851 with the uh, with the um, sorry quantity allocated against it. So what happens now is um, when we go to do the tag update there is actually two tags in there for that system. One is the one that we're going to pay attention to under the scenario of pre-printed tags are 27851 and the other tag we really don't care about it because the system created it. There is a provision within the update to actually disregard these tags, include them since it is zero it'll just be zero plus the quantity that I that I count here and they'll be purged away so whether you want to use the system generated or whether you actually want to key in your own tags is uh, dependent upon your uh, your internal process and that concludes the physical inventory tag entry process of the physical inventory suite of applications